My name is Eric Brown, and I'm the trail director for the Whatcom Mountain Bike Coalition. Our mission is to preserve and enhance non-motorized trail access throughout Whatcom County. Most, a lot of old timers in, in Bellingham still refer to us as the WIMPs. The WIMPs was an acronym which stood for the Whatcom Independent Mountain Peddlers. And we were really a ragtag group of, of mountain bikers who would come up to the mountain, ride our bikes, and we'd come and, and start building trails and doing these group rides and things like that. And it sort of snowballed into this, you know, overwhelming recreation group here in Bellingham, in Whatcom County. Just because I'm a mountain biker doesn't mean I'm not a hiker. And just because I'm a trail runner doesn't mean I don't ride a mountain bike, right? I mean, if you live in Bellingham, you probably go out paddling in the sound. You probably go hiking on, uh, in the, on the 542. You probably go mountain biking on Galbraith and on Chuckanut. I'm continually in contact with the other user groups like the hiking community, the equestrian community, paragliders and hang gliders and people that you don't even think about, um, geocachers and people who want to go out foraging for mushrooms and stuff like that. I think what you have to do is you have to look at the big picture. Right? And the reality is, uh, you know, it's not my God-given right to ride my mountain bike anywhere. And um, that's one of the ways you do it. You, you actually get, take a step back from your little sphere, right? Because we all get in our bubble. I, we all talk about the Bellingham bubble, but even there's a micro version of that, which is the mountain bike Bellingham bubble. And, you know, you kind of look at the bigger picture. You look at the other trail users, you look at the neighbors, you put yourself in their shoes. Uh, that means that mountain bikers aren't always going to have everything they want. When we, when we hear about issues from neighbors around uh, that adjoin Galbraith, we reach out to them, we go to the neighborhood association meetings wherever, whenever possible, and we try to basically let them know that we're here to, to help out wherever possible on that. That's really what it comes down to, and, and you're not gonna please everybody. And I think that's one thing that we've tried to figure out, or I've figured out in my years, <laughs> whether it's a different type of work or this type of work, is you're never gonna please everybody. So what you have to do is you have to look at the overall big picture. And, and we try to be good neighbors. That's really what it comes down to, is just trying to be good neighbors. Mm -hmm.